Right now, there's nothing really exciting going on with any popular launchers. No updates, news, nothing. So I started looking elsewhere for something fresh and hip, and I came across Neil Launcher. It's a unique Pixel-inspired launcher that just released a massive update. I mean, check this out. You can double tap on its home screen to bring up a control center called Dash. They have an at-a-glance widget that's basically on steroids since you can also add a clock, have dynamic alerts, music info, and more. You can add blank pages, which may not seem like a huge deal, but surprisingly, not that many launchers support this, and it comes in handy when you want to use a KLW Peak template. The only downside is that Neo Launcher has a handful of visible bugs, but it's nothing that you can handle. And that's just one underrated app out of the 15 that I'll be showing off in this video. It's honestly insane that the majority of these have less than 10,000 downloads, with some of them not even being in the Play Store. More people need to know about these apps instead of the crap that we see on the top charts. So help your boy out by dropping a thumbs up because finding these apps wasn't easy. And let's jump to app number two. Now this one is not on the Play Store, it's on F-Droid. And I'm not even sure if I should be sharing this with you guys, but screw it, you're the boys. Seal is probably the best app to download videos or audio files from the internet. All you need is the video link, then select your file preferences, like the video format, quality, etc., and hit download. Simple, or you can even save it as an audio file. For that cherry on top, it's free, open source, and has no ads. Since we're on the topic of videos, many of us probably use YouTube as a way to listen to music that isn't on any popular streaming services. But unless you get YouTube Premium, you won't be able to listen to the song in the background or while the phone is locked, wasting your battery life. So that's where Fake Standby comes in. This lets me black out the screen without actually locking the phone. So I can listen to those relaxing piano playlists without having my battery drain. And then when I want to bring my screen back, I simply swipe up from the bottom. It also comes in handy when downloading a large file within an app or a game, and you can't leave it since it will stop this progress or when you're playing a game and you want to stay online. If you constantly visit a website to stay up to date, you should probably turn it into a web-based app, meaning that the website will be borderless and full screen and you won't have your browser's address bar or bookmarks. There are multiple ways to do this, but I like to use Native Alpha because it lets me turn any site into a web app. You just type a URL, maybe even give it a custom icon, and then add it to your home screen. It'll work like a charm. Even better, it allows me to fiddle with the website to block all the ads, remove third-party requests or cookies, stop the JavaScript, and a lot more. Pretty sweet. There's even a pro version to get extra features like an option to force dark mode. Now, I usually don't review wallpaper apps anymore since I create my own now, along with very spectacular widgets on my Patreon, but when I stumbled across Lovey Wallpapers, I was shocked at just how marvelous these backgrounds are. They're all handmade, and what I love the most is all the different categories to choose from. According to the developer, there are well over 500 backgrounds that you can download. My favorites come from the Muriel genre. They're primarily 3D renders that are abstract and satisfying to look at. It does cost $1.49, but you do get over 500 wallpapers, which is spectacular. If you're having trouble falling asleep at night because you live in a noisy city, or you're the type of person who loves listening to background noise to fall asleep to, then I recommend picking up Soundcore's Sleep A10 Sleep Earbuds, the sponsor of this video. Now, I usually never wore headphones when going to sleep because I'm a side sleeper and it would get really uncomfortable. But these are the smallest and most lightweight earbuds that I've ever used, so I never had a problem when trying to use them in bed. Plus, they come with different ear tips and ear wings so that I can choose the right size for my ears. That way, they won't protrude like every other earbud out there, which is perfect if you sleep sideways. The best part is that this has a four-point noise masking system that blocks up to 35 decibels of noise around you. That's 15 decibels stronger than any regular earbuds that you may sleep with. So you'll always get the right amount of deep sleep that you deserve. And when it's time to wake up, the alarm will sound right in your ear to get you up faster. Soundcore also has an app that carries a whole library of soothing sleep sounds to use at night. It also tracks your sleeping data, and it automatically pauses the audio once it's determined that you've fallen asleep. Pretty impressive. So stop using those big old protruding headsets at night, and instead turn to Soundcore's Sleep A10 Sleep Earbuds. 
I'll link them at the top of the description. It's 2022, almost going into 2023, and we still have to deal with bloatware. It's ridiculous. So to remove them all, you can use a software on your computer called Universal Entity Bloater. Just connect your phone to your computer, allow it USB debugging access, which you can enable within the developer options, hit the refresh button, find the package name of the app. If you're unsure which one it is, you can click on a familiar name and the software will give you a description of what you selected. Then click on install and the program will close, confirming that it's worked and you should no longer have that app. If you'd like to bring it back though, the software lets you restore it, even with anything that you deleted. So it's a completely free and safe method that doesn't even require root and supports many OEMs like Samsung, Oppo, OnePlus, Huawei, Google, and more. Whenever you create a beautiful looking home screen and want to share it on your socials, don't use a basic screenshot. Instead, turn it into a masterpiece like this and then share it. Hi Shoot 2i is the best app that lets you do this. You can put your screenshot into any other smartphone frame templates, which can be found on their Telegram channel, Hi Shoot Templates. I'll link it right below the like button. Download and install any template that you like, then go into the Hi Shoot 2i app, open the second tab, select Change, and tap on the template that you downloaded. Then go back, tap on the first tab, hit First Screenshot, select your screenshot, and finally, hit Save Image to download it onto your phone. It's that simple, and it looks like a professional did it since the phone can be at an angle, or there's screen glare, or the background can be so eye-catching. Now, I'm sure we all use a note-taking app, and we all have a calculator, but how about we combine the two for when we need to do things like track our finances? CalcNote does this really well. It's just like a spreadsheet, but modernized, since you can type out a word in the first line and then type out the math equation right below it to have it automatically solve it. So for example, if I want to keep track of my monthly subscriptions, I type that topic name, then I hit enter to go to the next line, and then I type out the expression. So I can do $15 for Netflix, $10 for Spotify, $40 for Adobe, etc. On the right side, I can see the total amount. Then I can take it a step further by typing more expressions below that that aren't just subscriptions. The total amount will then appear above the keypad so I can keep track of everything. Works amazingly, but you can get even more technical like using functions, including crazy math equations, and it even provides conversion tables for measurements or currency. It's free to download, but there is a pro version that does cost $10 to let you remove ads and have a floating window. A bit hefty, but luckily I just dropped 50 promo codes on my Patreon for you to get it for free. So go on and get subscribed. I'm a huge fan of the Google search bar on the Pixel Launcher. It looks great, has everything I need for searching things, and it even follows the color of my background. But when I switch to a new phone or launcher, it's just not the same. So with search widget material U, I can finally replicate it on any home screen I use. Even better, I can customize it in any way I'd like. I can change the buttons, choose a different search app, change the transparency and more. It does cost a dollar, but I'll also be dropping another 50 promo codes on my Patreon so that you can get it for free as well there. If you're on Android 12 or higher, you most likely have the wallpaper based theming feature, meaning that the colors of your UI will match the colors of your wallpaper. And it's a great feature, but wouldn't it be nice if you can control it more? like making it brighter, even if I have the dark theme enabled, or even choosing a new color altogether. You can do that with Repainter. In the app, you can choose any color you'd like or any style. And if you have root, you can take things a bit further, like changing how colorful the background should be, increasing the brightness of the color and more. Getting the pro version for $4 a year will give you access to a whole library of themes from the community and those extra customization options for changing the brightness and background tint. But luckily, if you're subscribed to my Patreon, I just dropped 50 promo codes there to get the app for free for life. So hurry. So we've seen plenty of wallpaper apps on Android, and as I mentioned, I really like Lovey Walls, but how about we show some love to your desktop? After all, I'm sure that's the second device that you use the most right behind your smartphone. White Papers is the ultimate app to provide you with stunning widescreen backgrounds. Not only that, 
but some of these are even pixel inspired, which I know some of us can resonate with. They will make your desktop pop whenever someone looks at your setup from far away, even if you have an extremely widescreen monitor like mine. Now it does cost $2.69, but I think that's a bargain because there's no other app like this and barely anyone else will have these types of backgrounds. Again, I dropped 50 promo codes on my Patreon to get this app for free, thanks to the developer, who, fun fact, also designs the wallpapers on my Patreon. When we give our emails away to sign up for that exclusive deal or that interesting newsletter, we all wonder in the back of our heads, is this company going to start spamming me or even worse, sell it to other scam companies? Well, with Simple Login, you can stop those thoughts because it'll let you create a fake email address to use when signing up. And then every email sent to that address will be forwarded to your personal email. You following along? Then, if one day you decide that you no longer want those newsletters to keep arriving, you can simply turn off the fake account with a switch. No more spam. The now playing feature on the Pixels is by far one of my top three favorite features on Google's phones. It basically listens for any music playing around you and then displays the artist and song name in the lock screen. Just in case you were wondering, what song is this? No longer will you need Shazam. And whenever I switch to another phone, I miss that feature. Well, I can get it back with Ambient Music Mod. It works the same way, letting you see the song on your lock screen, but it is limited to a database of songs which is constantly growing, but it requires you to save these locally on your device. The other string attached is that you need to have root if you have anything below Android 12, otherwise you can use a Shizuku app if you're not rooted and you are running Android 12 or higher. Once you get that running though, you're golden. Have you ever accidentally swiped away a notification without meaning to? Well, if you had undo notification installed, you can quickly recover those dismissed notifications by tapping the undo quick settings tile. Simple as that. And although it does cost $1.99 to install, you can still get it for free on my Patreon since I just dropped a few promo codes for it on there. If you ever need to secretly record someone or something just because you feel unsafe, download XS Camera. It can record in the background or even with the screen locked from your front or back camera. Works like a charm. And you can even pretend to use your phone since when you close the app, you'll see a little preview window of what you're recording. Just make sure to use this app responsibly. Finally, I still can't believe that there isn't a calendar tile to see your next event. Well, an app called Calentile gives you this. And when you tap on it, you can see your next event in detail since it'll bring up a menu. From there, you can even look at any future or past events. Very useful. Anyways, that's 15 underrated Android apps that more people should know about. If you download at least one app, all I ask in return is if you can please drop a quick thumbs up to show your support since finding these apps wasn't easy. Or if you downloaded two or more, why not get subscribed with the notification bell turned on? I promise quality videos like this are released every week and you're not going to want to miss out. Either way, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one. Kapow!